Alright, so out with Mr. Fen here, we're going to do a little trial run for the new slash old camera, as well as just checking out his, um, some social evaluation, because he's very skittish. And the initial thought was to just kind of get him out and about so we can practice him not jumping on people. But that also seems to be kind of hit or miss as well. Uh, we don't have the footage from the trail, but some people he was friendly towards and some people he was afraid of. Good boy. Yes. So here, what we're going to try to do is get him used to being scared and then coming back in and coming to me for comfort. And that'll help greatly when he gets startled by things. He doesn't just run off, you know, in the opposite direction of whatever scared him. We want him to get into the good habit of running into us for, for safety and support and comfort. Boy, it's okay. So, a little skittish already out the doors. But um, before we go inside, I'm just going to walk around a little bit out here. And it's always good practice, especially with dogs that seem nervous, to give them an extra potty breaks when out in sessions like this as well. Careful we'll cross in the street. Boy. He's been doing a lot better at the drills inside. Um, and so wanted to switch it up a little bit and have hopefully a much heavier kind of social weekend for the for both the pups. Good boy, good pee. -pee. You'll have to excuse me. A little congested, I guess, because allergy season is back because of the ragweeds or whatever they are. So, I'm gonna try my best to not be too sniffly. We'll also see how the audio is. Okay. It's pretty absorbed in the environment. He's chucking in a little bit. Go ahead and practice a little bit. Fen, heel. Good boy, with me. Yes, up here. Good. Yes, heel. Good boy, very good. Good job, okay, free. And especially in his case, because we want him to get used to the environment, I actually want him to kind of explore. We just don't want him to pull too much, and then we also want to continue practicing those good leash banners as well. So here, we'll let the leash pressure go. Good boy, come. Up here. Good. Yes, good heel. Good job, big guy. Very good. Okay. He's doing good. Uh, like I said, the main thing I'll be worried about is when he gets into kind of a panic mode. We'll also need to address the situation of him kind of just being comfortable um, pulling on the lead. This guy is definitely not going to stop for us. Or lady. Thank you. The other person's nice though. So here, right, he's going to be scared of that. I'm run right back into oncoming traffic. Yeah. So we're gonna spend some time getting him used to carts and sounds. Home improvement stores are great because they have those bigger carts and a lot of heavier things. Uh, they also have the equipment around that moves things too. So a lot of more sudden noises too. Good boy. Yes. Good. Okay. Ben. Good. So they see there at that time, he was actually super excited and interested in meeting somebody and ran right up to them. Right? Whereas that time, he was a little bit unsure. Good boy. Maybe also because he was carrying something as well. Either way, we want him to see somebody and just like with the, his brother, see somebody and check back in with us and um, 
ask kind of for permission to create as opposed to just running right up to them. Good boy. Yes, good job. Good heal. Uh, wait. Yes. Very good. Perfect. Good. So he does well if we kind of kind of set him up for success first there. That was good. Right now, it's a little bit of a slower time in the weekday evening. This place is usually pretty busy on the weekend mornings. It's a good first initial um, opportunity to kind of walk him through it. Hopefully not be too overwhelmed by everything. He seems to be doing well though. He's relatively relaxed and interested in everything. The real test is coming up here where we have the Halloween decorations. Good boy. As well as some kids too. That'd be good for his uh, his brother's test. Good boy. Wait, son. Yes, good boy. Very good, perfect. Good boy. Okay. Good boy. Keep him away. Good boy, yes. And you can kind of see the reason why you always want him to check in first to us as opposed to just going to see other people is because people might be allergic. He might not like dogs. He might knock down kids, things like that. So that's why it's really important to make sure that he does a good job of checking in with us than anything else. Boy. <laughs> There's actually a bird in here as well. So now that they, everybody's kind of left the area, we'll go ahead and trigger one of these. Good boy. Come here. It's okay. Yes. I know. It's okay. Very good. Good job. Okay. Good job. All right. Halloween in general is going to be a pretty tough time for pups that are skittish. So it would be good to see, you know, what we're we're working with and trying to get him used to as many of those like scary uh, sounds and situations as much as possible. Good boy. Door is an exit only. Or enter only. Good boy. Very good. Yes, up here. Have him heal with me for a bit. Very good. Good boy. Yes. Very good. Good job, big guy. Hey, how are you doing? You want to say hi? Good boy. Get down. Good boy. Yes, very good. Good job. Just working on him, not jumping on people. <laughs> he did. Thank you. Say thank you, huh? Good boy. How old is he? A few months. Oh, oh no, he down. Ah, oh, <laughs> bud. Oh, I know. You got excited. Good boy. Good down. Do you have dogs at home? Yeah, I have um two. Down. One's a um, Jack Russell, and then you can say hi. Like a Westie. Oh. Oh, cool. Smaller pups. Do you want to try giving him a treat? Boy. I mean, I cannot bring mine in public. Oh, uh, how come? They're, they're bad and aggressive. Oh. They just bark at everybody. 
<laughs> gotcha. At least they're small. Good boy. Oh, okay. Good down. Yes. Good job. <laughs> so he did well initially there, and then when he came back because he was more excited, he jumped up. So that's definitely going to be the key thing to watch for is just, you know, his excitement level, right? And being able to prompt him early, getting him set up for success like he was the first time. Then, yes, good boy, come, right? Seems to really help too. We kind of have to still get him thinking about what he should be doing before he starts doing things, which makes sense. Eventually with enough practice, which we're going to get plenty of, um, those things will become second nature to him as opposed to right now where he still sees and is kind of 50 50 he'll either check in and do well or he might just go and do the wrong thing so we want to try to create good habits by helping him out as much as possible in the beginning and then later on as he gets more proficient and it becomes just good habits then it will become more like expectations and then adding corrections for not meeting those expectations yeah, so far so good. I'm gonna go ahead, give him another walking break. We'll go back in and do it a couple more times. He seems to be doing well, so the weather is nice too. We're gonna try for about 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna switch out with uh, with his brother and let him uh, do a round as well. Maybe just around the regular shopping center too. I'm gonna do a little bit of walking. Do one more like a little heel bit. Boy. So we got a shopping cart here too. See if we can get him used to it. What's this, bud? Oh, it's okay. Shh. It's okay. Okay, come here. It's okay. <laughs> He's like, no way, man. You got it. Down. Come here. Down. There you go. Good job. See, it's okay. Let's move it around a little bit more. Good boy. It's okay. We're on a hill right now, too, so just trying to go nice and slow. It's okay. There you go. Good boy. Good job. See if we can get him to heal through it. Fen, heal. Good, heal. It's okay. Come on. Almost. Come on. Now he's trying to avoid it. Hey, it's okay. All right. I might have to uh, go back to this exercise when we're on a more level surface. I feel like this thing's gonna either get away from me and hit something or some much. There we go. Good boy. Come, feel. Yeah. Feel. Yeah. Yes, good. Uh-uh. Yes, up here. Good. You can see all the smells on the floor there were really distracting him. Good boy, yes. Just helping him out a little bit with the leash and now it's nice and loose again. Good boy. Yes. Good heel. Uh-uh. Heel? Good, yes. Good listen. All right. All right. All right. That was good. So I'm gonna walk back over there, 
give him another little break in the um, in the grass area so he can smell and relieve himself if necessary. Hi, how you doing? Good boy. Yes, good job. Good boy. Very good. Hi, how you doing? You want to say hi? I don't know where your parents are. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Yeah, he's just a little skittish, that's all. Good boy, it's okay. Can you say hi? Come on. It's a boy. There you go. Good job. It's okay. There you go. <laughs> Good job, big guy. <laughs> you guys have dogs at home? No, no, we're... Uh... We have, three, we, have, we have three wild ones already. <laughs> 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 oh, it's okay. When they, can, when they can clean up the poop, that's when we'll get a dog. There you go. Maybe a little older, right? It's okay, big guy. Well, thank you. Good boy, it's okay. Oh, 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 oh. Good boy. Sounds pretty good. You can tell he's uh, kind of like his brother. Not quite as bad as Tyr but definitely still, still skittish and uh, calmer, slower moving objects and ch children to uh, seem to help him not get triggered with being startled and running away. So kind of everybody else being still for a while and letting him get an opportunity to smell them and get adjusted can really go a long ways. Oh, glad we got that on video though. All right, bud, come here. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> yes, good boy.